a series of futuristic concept images on what a new surface ship for the Royal Navy could look like in 2050 has been released by a group of leading British naval electronic systems companies working alongside Defence Equipment and Support DENS, part of the MOD, and the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory DSTL, part of the MOD. A group of British scientists and engineers are working for major players in the industry and the Ministry of Defence on a project called Startpoint. Its aim is to ensure that the UK remains at the forefront of military maritime technology. Starting with the battle management nerve centre of the ship, the fighting heart of a ship, known as the operations room, the concepts were developed by a number of young science and engineering graduates from both the private and public sector who were asked to visualise what an operations room would look like and how the actual ship itself might appear. The images of the ops room as the Navy calls it are developed around a 3D holographic command table and communications hubs to give the crew greatly improved situational awareness when engaged in future operations. The command table could be rotated and zoomed to allow commanders to focus on specific aspects of the battlefield, be it in the air, on the surface both at sea and on land, or underwater. Additional, smaller holographic pods would allow the crew to manage those specific environments in greater detail. An operation could be commanded from within visual range to thousands of miles away from the ship, all managed by five or six people. Any information could be transmitted in real time, secure voice, video or data to wherever it is needed, be it the UK Joint Headquarters, NATO or other allies. The type of ship was also subject to discussion in terms of construction materials, power source, shape, sensors and weapons. The ship's structure could be made of ultra-strong acrylic composites which can be turned translucent to give commanders in the ops room a view of close-in operations. The power would either be a fusion reactor or highly efficient turbines driving silent electric motors to water jets, the hull would be coated with graphene to cut down drag and could be ballasted down to present a lower profile which would make the ship more stealthy and even harder to detect. The ship would not have a conventional mast but a tethered quadcopter which could be flown above the ship. This tether would be made of carbon nanotubes and cryogenically cooled in order to transmit significant power to the quadcopter for multispectral sensors and act as a high-power, i.e. laser, weapon to knock down enemy missiles or aircraft. There would be an electromagnetic railgun at the bow, capable of firing projectiles the same distance as today's long-range cruise missiles, and at the stern there would be a moon pool or floodable dock area to deploy Royal Marines and other troops on amphibious raiding missions or unmanned underwater vehicles oops, to detect mines. Above the floodable dock would be a large extendable flight deck and hangar for multiple remotely piloted air systems RPASUAs, many equipped with weapons which could target the enemy without putting the crew in harm's way. And along the ship's sides would be missile tubes for defensive hypersonic IE Mach 5 Plus, missiles, directed energy weapons to stop small enemy craft loaded with explosives. And in the armas, the outrigger hulls would be torpedo tubes to fire super cavitating torpedoes capable of 300 plus knots. Probably of most importance, the manning of this sort of ship could be brought down significantly. 
where today's modern warships have around 200 crew, a future crew could be brought down to as little as 50 to 100, with the ops room needing only 5 people, rather than today's 25. Commander Steve Crest, the Royal Navis Fleet Robotics Officer said, In 2013 the Royal Navy challenged the defense industry to innovate and to generate new opportunities to give it an operational edge. We therefore welcome a project that allows some of Britain's best and brightest young engineers to come up with ideas on what a warship might look like or be equipped with in 2050. We want to attract the best new talent to see to operate, maintain and develop systems with this level of ambition. Muir McDonald, a senior executive involved with StartPoint said, while some of these technologies push today's boundaries in science and engineering, there is no reason why elements could not be incorporated into future designs. The Royal Navy needs visionary, innovative thinking and these concepts point the way to cutting-edge technology which can be acquired at less cost and operated with less manpower than anything at sea today in the world's leading navies. StartPoint brings together the best of British expertise in naval combat systems to showcase innovative concepts and to help it to attract young talent to a career in the specialist engineering discipline that is combat and mission systems. The purpose of commissioning the designs was to push the industry top minds to explore what the Royal Navy could look like in its most advanced form.